Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla News Episode 20. Tesla Model 3 goes head to head with Porsche in EV race. The Tesla Roadster may hit a 0 to 60 time in 1.1 second. BMW is putting a hold on their self-driving technology program and Tesla breaks the 400 mile range. And a mysterious building is taking shape in China. All this and much more to come on today's episode. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, I just want to make a quick shout out to my newest Patreons. Chris, Joseph Wu and Kelso Dennis. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Really appreciate it. Let's get into the news. A new update is coming soon to your Tesla in the US. If you have full self-driving, you will love what is coming in the 2020.25.5.1. You will no longer need to provide confirmation to your Tesla to proceed through green lights. As long as there is a lead vehicle in front of you. Now the stop line will be green to indicate that the car will go through. And the update will also add two side cameras on the screen when backing up in the car. Very cool and helpful feature. The new structures of the Phase 2 of the Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai is taking shape, with side panels and roof and everything. But a new structure that was not part of the original plan is also taking shape as well. It is still unknown what this building is for, but maybe it is for the design studio for the Model 2 or the Model C or whatever it's going to be called, because Tesla is right now accepting vehicle designs idea from China. So the work has begun for making one of the most important cars in history. And China is getting everything up and running again after the pandemic. Tesla supercharger use beats pre-pandemic highs in China and Asia Pacific. Nice to see some places is getting back to normal and Tesla is just pushing forward. And if you're wondering how Tesla is doing in China, the biggest EV market in the world, well, they're doing just fine. Just take a look at this chart from Clean Technica showing the sales of plug-in vehicles in May 2020. The bald ones are fully electric, but the Tesla Model 3 is like in so many other places. Just the leader, the king, the almighty, the undisputed champion of the EV market. No contest. And the Model 3 was also in an EV race recently. And during the recently conducted 500 kilometers electric car race in Lithuania, a stunning black Porsche Taycan Turbo proudly crossed the finish line in 5 hours, 47 minutes and 14 seconds. That was very impressive for the Porsche Taycan, which made its debut in this race this year. Very cool. But 1 minute and 7 seconds before the proud Porsche Taycan completed the race, a humble Tesla Model 3 crossed the finish line, earning first place. The Tesla covered the 500 km distance in 5 hours, 46 minutes and 7 seconds. Interestingly enough, this year also marked Tesla's debut in the high-profile EV race. So the big Porsche was beating by the tiny Tesla Model 3. Guess range does matter a bit, huh Porsche? And speaking of range, it seems like Tesla is the first to break the 400 mile mark or 643 kilometers for how far an electric car can run on a single charge. Tesla says the Environmental Protection Agency EPA has tested Tesla Model S Long Range Plus to be able to handle 402 miles on a single charge, according to CNBC. The announcement comes from Tesla's own organization and has not yet been confirmed by the EPA. But if it's true, I guess Elon was right again when he said the door was opened under the first test that the EPA did of the car. And he should know they can see everything that is going on inside the car, so I do think we will see this confirmed by EPA soon. And Gigafactory 4 in Berlin is also sprinting along, maybe even faster than the Gigafactory Shanghai did. 
If the work continues at the same speed, then the foundation of the building will be complete in August and in the beginning of autumn, the exterior of the building will be visible. Very cool. And thanks to Toby Lin, who has taken the trouble to put the construction drawing over the current drone footage he has also done, we can now see the dimension of the first stage of the Giga Berlin. Very exciting. And the Tesla Cybertruck is going to have a public debut, aside from the unveiling at the reopening of the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. Peterson executive director Terry Cargis comment on the announcement. Tesla has been a trailblazer in the widespread acceptance of the electric vehicle since introducing the Model S prototype. The Cybertruck paves the way for utility vehicles of the future and we can't wait to display it proudly in our lobby as we reopen to the public. And a bit of news about the Roadster. It is no surprise that Tesla's next-gen Roadster is going to be lightning quick with a claim of 0-60 to 60 time in 1.9 seconds for the base model. However, the additional SpaceX cold gas thrusters that will be hidden behind the car's license plates could drop the Roadster's 0-60 to 60 time to a dazzling 1.1 second. It was the YouTube channel Engineering Explained who used some of Isaac Newton's basic physics principles to determine that the Roadster could become one of the quickest cars in the world. And don't forget the Roadster will still have 9 rocket thrusters left. <laughs> this was just one of them behind the number plate, so it is still going to be very exciting to see how this will actually work and what the car is going to be able to do. This car is going to be out of this world. And Tesla.com just got a major facelift. Now the solar panels is the first thing you see when you open the US version of the website. That's weird, right Jim Chainers? A car company showing solar panels on the website. <laughs> and then followed all their sexy vehicles and solar roof tiles. And Tesla's 2019 impact report linked from the homepage as well. Very cool. And speaking of solar panels, Tesla has released new and more powerful solar panel and slashing the price of its solar installation as an attempt to ramp off its energy division. Tesla has launched the solar roof tiles but the company is also trying to ramp up its solar panel installations which are still bread and butter of the solar industry. Going to be very exciting to follow this the next couple of years. And German automaker BMW has announced it will freeze its self-driving technology development program with Mercedes-Benz after a steep plunge in demand for its vehicle due to the virus. BMW will also get rid of 6,000 jobs, which account for 5% of their global employment force of 120,000 people. BMW and Mercedes plan to introduce the semi-automotive driving capabilities into its vehicle by 2024. However, those intentions have been derailed, giving Tesla even more significant advantages in the race towards autonomy. SpaceX submits application to offer Starlink breadband internet in Canada. We all know SpaceX is going to start their Starlink internet at the end of this year and begin its service to the US and Canada. We also got a peek at the receiver of the Starlink satellites thanks to Dark Penguin 22. And this could be some of the world's easiest internet installation as Elon said. Starlink terminal has motors to self-adjust optimal angle to view sky. Instructions are plug in socket, point at sky. <laughs> These instructions works in either order, <laughs> no training required. This project is just so exciting because it will not be only US and Canada, it will bring cheap fast internet to the whole world. Every tiny corner and remote area. In the not so far future you will be able to send a snapchat from Antarctica. And this project is of course also going to fund the SpaceX program to send humans to Mars. So this is actually the first step towards this. And I just love this tweet from Michael Sheets, showing off the front cover of Aviator Week from 2024 and 2020, with the text on the cover from 2024 saying, can tiny SpaceX rock boring? I guess they did a little more than just rock the boat. 
Tesla Big Batteries will be used in Zimbabwe's largest mobile phone operators, Core Network, Sites and more. I have talked about Econet Wireless before in my video about Tesla in Africa, but Econet Wireless is Zimbabwe's largest mobile operator and plans to expand its use of Tesla batteries for its operation in addition to provide backup power for the base station. As they said, we have plans to scale up the use of battery at Econet's core network site and other groups' installations. The use of the full hybrid and off-grid power solution is even more urgent today in the light of the deficiency between electricity demand and supply. Just another company that is expanding its Tesla battery storage after seeing all the benefits and how great it works. And we're getting closer to a Gigafactory in Texas. First, we thought they had bought some land in Texas, but then Elon clarified on Twitter that Tesla currently has an option to purchase the land in Austin, Texas. But so far, Musk has stated that the electric car maker has not yet done so. In the US, renewables are expected to see 50 times as much net capacity added in the next three years as nuclear and fossil fuel combined. Wow, this is really great news for the US and a nice peak of the better future we'll be living in. As Elon tweeted, renewable energy is happening fast. Tesla is installing Megapacks, big batteries for wind charger task in Canada. Trans Atlas Wind Charger will be the first lithium ion utility scale battery storage project in Alberta. It will utilize Tesla's Megapacks battery technology, charging with electricity from some of you wind farm. Yet another battery storage project from Tesla. Tesla has been granted the UK electricity generation license, which allows them to develop its energy business in the local market and sell electricity. Tesla plans to build a virtual power plant in the UK and other countries using its Autobeta platform. Perhaps these will be large-scale battery storage projects as the one we have just talked about in Canada. But time will tell. And some good news about Tesla Taxi in Australia. Tesla Taxi runs a ride-sharing program in Australia with Tesla owners that want to share their Tesla with other people when they are not using the car themselves. And it looks like the business is going great, because Tesla Taxi plans to open in other markets in 2021. This will be in partnership with local residents to run day-by-day -day operations. If you want to help Tesla Taxi with this, contact Milling via LinkedIn if you want to get involved. Linked in the description below. If you live in Australia and want to rent a Tesla through Tesla Taxi, you will also find a discount code down below. And my little beauty has just turned one year old. And I have driven it over 45,000 kilometers and spent zero in maintenance and had zero issues and it's just getting better. Thank you Elon and Tesla team for this wonderful car. Keep up the great work. And thank you guys for watching, because this is all we have time for in this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help out the video a lot. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I come out with news episodes every Sunday and other videos in between about Tesla and everything Elon Musk. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. And remember, you can support the show even more for just one dollar, but it really helps out the channel a lot. So please head over to patreon.com slash best and Tesla if you want to support and choose your level of support and get your shout out on this channel. And to all my Patreons, thank you so much for helping me keep this channel alive. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.